Hi, Marin from Indie Birth here with some midwife tips for staying healthy, positive, and grounded if you're pregnant. I think the most important tip is actually staying positive above anything else. There is nothing like fear to weaken our bodies, our minds, and our spirits. There is nothing like fear to depress an immune system. So we got to stay positive, whatever it takes, and practice releasing good feelings and oxytocin all day, every day, as much as we can. Eat a piece of chocolate, pet a puppy, hug your older child, whatever it takes to release those good feelings that are probably more important than anything else. Staying grounded. You don't need to meditate all day or really at all. Just have a basic mindfulness practice. Get out on the earth, touch the ground, feel the sun if it's shining, uh, feel the breeze on your skin. And sure, if you're into sitting and breathing quietly or even laying down to rest for 10 or 15 minutes, ground yourself, ground yourself in your body, connect to your baby, connect to the earth, find your center. Again, fear is something that spirals out of the sense of not being grounded, of not really knowing where we belong and thinking too much about the future. If we stay grounded now in the present, that is one of the absolute best things we can do. Finally, staying healthy. Well, the other two tips are really great for staying healthy, not just physically, but emotionally and mentally as well. Uh, Physical health, of course, is key. And aside from just basic tips like washing hands, we also want to eat really great food. Um, I've been shocked to see that, you know, the foods flying off the shelves are canned processed foods. This is not what you want to eat in a time of needing to boost yourself and your immune immune system. So the fresh foods uh, are there in the store, at least here. And so that's what we want to be focusing on. We want vibrant, fresh foods, and also just um, also working in whatever natural health suggestions or modalities you typically use. So maybe it's essential oils, maybe it's herbs, maybe it's chiropractic. Uh, Utilize all the things you have at your disposal, whether free or other services, to boost yourself and to keep yourself and your family healthy. I hope these were helpful, and remember, live in love, not fear.